It's Friday, and this is Friday Souls. Stay tuned if you want to hear about what's going on and the things I made this week. Okay, hey, hello everybody. I hope everyone has had a great week. Um, I have had a pretty productive week this week. Um, before we get started, we, I'd like to thank um, Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this hashtag. I really appreciate that. Very sweet lady. If you haven't watched her channel, please go and watch her channel. I will link it below in the description box. Um, what did I make this week? Well, this week I completed... I think this is going to be considered a TNT for me because I have made all the views in this pattern. This is Simplicity 8926. So I've made the dress, I made the shirt, and I made the pant. So I feel like the pant and capri, same thing. Um, and I will put a picture of what I made. So I did these pants as well as um, these pants and I made a jacket and a matching hat. And I did post a picture on Instagram and I did post a short on YouTube. So you may have already seen that this week. So the pants that I'm wearing um, are will be this 8926. Like I said, this is going to be a TNT pattern for me. Everything on here was very comfortable. I feel like um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the pants again. Just because those type of elastic pants just have, in the past, haven't fit me like I would like for them to fit. However, I am learning to make things fit, fit better. So, I may or may not try them again. I'm not sure. I feel like I... um because I added a side panel and you'll see in my picture where I add like the little side panel where I should have took some off in the front of the crotch because that's where I had extra at. But all in all, it still was a comfortable fit. I'm not complaining. I plan on wearing this to wherever I feel that it's appropriate to wear. So I will be wearing it. Um, and I am satisfied with the combination that I put together to create the outfit. For the jacket, it is a Butterick, Butterick pattern. And it is Butterick 5529. And I made view C. Very easy to make. This is very, 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 very beginner friendly. So I will definitely be making this again if I need a jacket. Um... I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to make all the views, but there, there's like view D, view B. I will probably make, I already have like a ready to wear in view A and it's black. So I, I can't see myself making it unless I just need that particular style in another color. So the, and I made the hat. Now the hat was a self-drafted pattern and I made the hat on one of my um on one of my black history sew alongs i think last week so long was is when i made the hat and i finished the the suit last um like this the past weekend or so so great pattern i love this pattern this is probably gonna be a tnt for me as well because i love this very 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 easy um, this is very easy too, so I would recommend these to beginners. I feel like I'm an adv advanced beginner, but I would anybody just starting. So I feel like these are two patterns that you could easily sew up. This week's Black History video sew along, I made a self-drafted bag, and the bag has a bow on it. I think it's very cute. It's denim. And this is the um, African print fabric that I purchased from um, Fabric Wholesale Direct. So the, the outside has a bow on it. 
in the in the African print. I kind of when I was making the handles, you'll see it started swirling, so I just left that pattern. So that's what the swirl is on my on my handles. And the inside is and the inside is the African print. I had to stuff it with with a whole bunch of stuff so it wouldn't be flat. So you guys could see it. But I like the bag. I'm very proud of my bag. I plan on carrying my bag. And to match my bag, I made Simplicity 9711. This is one of the um the new releases for the Simplicity Spring collection. I purchased this today and came home and made it so that I could show show you guys the skirt matching my bag. So and I just paired it with a ready to wear denim jacket that I already had along with this black this black t-shirt that I have. Um, this is a very easy make to me as well for the way that I made made it. It calls for um it calls for coarse hair braid. I did not have that, did not use that. I did not even use the interface. Now I could have I could have stood to use the interface on the on the waistband. That that's on me, but it, it, I feel like it turned out very very good. I made it just a tad bit too big, so I had to take the waistband in a little bit. So when I make it again, I will go down to the next size. Um, but I am planning on making this again in an up cycle. But I'm going to make. I want to make the long skirt and I have some men's dress shirts that I have already cut up and it's supposed to be like a pink, green, white. Mm, I don't know if it's any other color in there, but those are the colors of the skirt. And, um, but I have to put it together how I see it in my head. So when I get that done, I will show you guys, but I will, I have been looking for a full skirt like this and if I can find um, my inspiration picture from Pinterest of what I want to make, I will put it over here on the side. But I've been looking for a pattern with a full skirt like this. So this is the perfect pattern for the upcycle that I'm planning on doing. And now that I have the pattern, hopefully I will get that done within the next month or so. So love this pattern. I felt like it was very easy. It was, it was, um, it wasn't hard to follow. It's just that there's some stuff that, it, I mean, the braid horse, the horse hair braid thing, I never used that before. I'm sure at some point I will, but I didn't use it. I've never used it before. I'm, I don't have it. So I made my skirt without it. The skirt turned out fine. I'm loving the skirt. We'll definitely be wearing the skirt out somewhere as well. Um, With the bag, this bag that I made um, right here, it was a self-drafted pattern. And I shared the pattern with you on on the sew along that I posted. I think I posted it yesterday. Um, and so I give you the measurements in that video if you would like to try and make it. Very easy make, it was nothing to it. So those were my makes for this week, um, some of my life that happened, I started a new part-time job. If you've been following me, I did I did make a, make you aware that I haven't um, worked in a while due to disabilities that I have. One of, one of them being multiple sclerosis. With that being said, I started a part-time job. I only had to work Monday and Tuesday, but I had to work all day. So it's been a while since I did that. So I, I did that and it was easy. It was it was not a hard job. It's just that I had to get back in the mode of working and doing something all day like that because um, I have very bad fatigue with my multiple sclerosis. So I get tired easily. So it's just kind of, um, it was new for me. So Wednesday I rested. So that's the reason why the video didn't for um, Black History didn't come out until Thursday, probably like Thursday midnight or something. But anyway, that's something new that I had um, happened this week. But overall, it's 
very nice little job. I work, I work at an upholstery shop. So it's very interesting because the owner can sew his tail off. He's a very great sewist. So all the questions that I could come up with this week, he has been, he has been more than willing just to answer those questions. And he's showing me little things that I did not know. So other than it being a job, it's also been a very great learning experience for week one. We'll see what happens as we move on. Um, what I plan to make next week. Oh, I can't set it in stone. I do have um, I do have several things already cut out. And one of the things I wanted to get done was this dress. This dress and I have a poncho. So I feel like we're gonna have early spring, guys, and this could be just me. I went to Joanne's today to get patterns. And as I'm coming out the parking lot, there was this tree. I don't know plants like that, but there was this beautiful tree full of pink flowers. It was gorgeous. It reminded me of dogwood, but I don't, I think dogwood has white flowers, but anyway, it was beautiful, but it was full. So I was like, we, we definitely must be having an early spring. But regardless, I still would like to finish my poncho because I already have it cut out and it is McCall's. 8029 and I am making I think I'm making I think I cut out view B so no it's view it's this view that she has on because I, I cut out the hood so I, I feel like it's a simple and quick easy make and preferably I will get this made up really quick maybe tomorrow or something like that just because i already have everything cut out and ready to go something else that i um also wanted to get done this week was this wrap dress and this is a dress that i have and it has six um different views it's a it's an easy to sew pattern so what i did was guys i made a video of my fabric haul from fabric mart deleted the entire video so that that's why you see a fabric haul video that says part one is because i deleted part two so i have to remake that video with that being said i i purchased a lot of knit materials so i have this material that i've had for years so i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna make this um dress and i think i'll cut out view a I, cut, I think I cut out view A, but with that being said, it is six different views and I purchased a bunch of knit fabric. So I think I'm going to make each view with the fabric that I purchased. But I, like I said, I've had this fabric right here for years. So I wanted something to use it on. And then I saw this, this right here and I was like, oh, this is the perfect dress. So I think it's going to hang nicely when I finish with it. So this and the poncho are two things that I want to try to get done this week. Um... Preferably, it works out. I'm not sure what we're going to make for this last week of the Black History, um, a Black History so long, but I will figure it out by middle of next week. We will make something. Maybe we'll make the jacket that um that I already did. Maybe we'll make this because this is very simple. And I think I have some more Ankara fabric around here. If I can find that fabric, we'll make this jacket very simple, very easy made. I think you guys will enjoy that. I also have my um, beginner sewing class coming up for February with, with the group that I am in, Richmond Really Sews. Richmond Really Sews is on Facebook and feel free to join the group if you just like to see what we're doing here in Richmond. There are people you can ask questions about different sewing, sewing questions on there and they'll reach out and if they can help you, they will. They just had a very good meeting that I missed this week where someone that was there talking about the projectors. We meet once a month um, and I do the sewing class for beginners once a month. So that class is coming up and what I'm going to have them make it is this small little duffel bag if you remember a few videos ago i made a i made this bag for a diaper bag for a new family member who just had a had a baby 
I am going to modify it just a tad bit because I feel like this is an easy make as well. I'm going to do a couple of modifications and we're going to make this bag in our class. So I'm looking forward to that. So this week, is so this is something else I will make because before I teach them how to make it, I like to go and make it myself with the modifications just to make sure that I feel like it is super, super beginner friendly because what may seem like it's super easy to me or you it may it may be a little bit difficult to somebody else so i like to put myself through the situation so i can see what what needs to happen and what needs to be put together so that's something that i'm i will be working on this week as well and i also noticed on this pattern it is um oh my god and she's my friend she's so sweet i think so lovely with grace she showed her little mirrors that she made and I was like looking at my pattern. I was like, oh my God, I have a pattern for that. So I might try to make that because I thought that that was so cute um, when she showed that she made it. And I don't know if you can see, but the, the girl here has one hanging on her duffel bag. So I thought that was really cute. I have plenty of those little um, lobster claw hooks. So that's no problem. I just would need to get the mirrors. But I thought that was, that was very cute. So I may try to make that. That won't be this week, but... I just happened to see that it was on my pattern and I do plan on making that. So last, um, last but not least, last week I did forget to do my shout out. I, my intentions every week on my Friday Souls is to shout out at least one YouTube channel. And the reason why I would like to do that is because I know when I was looking for YouTube channels, it's like randomly shows you certain youtube shows you kind of what they want you to see so i may be watching somebody that you may be interested in so that's why i do these shout outs of the youtube channel so i forgot last week's um i forgot last week's shout out so last week's shout out is thoughtful creativity she is very good she's a very very good teacher you will enjoy watching her i think her i think her name is alisa or Alyssa. But she's a very, very, very good teacher. So please go by and check her channel out. I will also try to put a, a link to her channel in the description box. As well as this week's um, shout out, I'm going to shout out So Natural Dane. She is she is doing the um, Black History Month Black Pattern, Black Pattern Designers Challenge on Instagram. Uh, I do watch her as well. She's very informative. So if you haven't checked her out, uh, I will have a link to her channel as well in the in the description. And that is all I have for you guys. Um, I had a wonderful week. I hope you did too. I want to say a special thanks to all my subscribers. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing because we have a great time, in, especially in the comments. I just feel like I know everybody personally. Um, but consider subscribing and please hit the notification bell so you will get all the videos that I upload and you won't miss a thing. Like I said, I did de delete my part two of my fabric haul, so I will remake that tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and show you my makes for this week and shout out those YouTube channels and, sh and let you know a little bit what was going on with my life. And with that being said, I want you guys to have a wonderful week and don't forget to sew something fabulous. Bye-bye.